One of the most dangerous things in a welding shop is extremely scary to me because you can't even see it. One of my biggest passions with welding is being able to TIG weld stainless steel. It's something I've taken a lot of pride working with over the years. And I've worked endlessly for years and years to learn even more about welding and working with it. However, the fumes from welding on stainless steel threatens to cut a lot of people's careers short with serious health problems simply because of how dangerous breathing these fumes can be to somebody. Now, about six months ago, I got contacted by this amazing company called Remove the Fume. And after talking with them, they hooked me up with one of the most unbelievable fume extraction systems. And this thing that they sent me was a perfect fit for my shop here. This thing that you're looking at here, this is the unit that they sent me. It's designed to basically be able to roll into someone's shop and be able to get moved around really easily. As you can see, the one I have here has a movable and extendable arm attachment to it. This can be moved and stretched around all over your shop to remove any dangerous welding fumes. The air gets sucked into this intake here on the end of the boom. You basically have it placed somewhere around your welding area. It will draw the fumes in. It will be sent through this giant HEPA filter inside the machine here. And after it has run through the filter and been cleaned, the air is then pumped out the other side. Now, easy as pie, this giant filter can be changed out in a matter of seconds for a fresh one. And basically wherever I'm working in my shop here, whether it's at this table or working at that one over there on something else, I can basically pull the boom arm wherever I need it. This thing is super, super convenient and it's super stable and stays exactly where I leave it. Now, I've been using this one on my YouTube channel for about six months or so now. Now, I know a lot of people have heard me talk about this on my YouTube channel before, but when I first started to get trained and learn how to TIG weld stainless steel, unfortunately, I was not trained on any of the dangerous aspects or any safety aspects on it whatsoever. I was like 19 at the time, it was like the late 90s, you get the idea. Now for those of you that don't know, stainless steel contains an element called chromium. Stainless steel can also have various other types of different alloying agents depending on what type of stainless steel it is. However, one thing that is not commonly known by a lot of people, myself included back in the day, is that when this metal is heated to a certain temperature by a process of cutting or welding or something like that, it gives off fumes that when you breathe them in, they are extremely dangerous to your health. You can do a random Google search and look up all the different safety things and health problems that this can basically cause you over extended use over a long amount of time. And to be honest, after reading a bunch of this stuff, it's really scary. So unfortunately, I welded stainless steel when I first started my career, like 20 years ago or whatever. And I had no clue about any of this stuff. But you can imagine, once I learned about it, I was super horrified. Since then, I've obviously become very aware about how important proper breathing protection is. All the time when I'm working in my shop here, you can see me welding with this respirator on here. This is a proper respirator specific to this type of welding. I'm also working with proper ventilation in my shop here. And these days I am very paranoid about taking care of myself as far as safety goes. So working in my small shop here, you can imagine how thrilled I was to get hooked up with a fume extraction system like this. This mobile go version that I have here is absolutely perfect for the space that I'm working in here. Mm -mm -mm, forgot to measure how big it is. It is approximately 28 by 28 inches. So just a little bit more than two feet either way. So you can see that the footprint that this thing takes up on your shop floor is very minimal. And essentially I could just find a spot like this for it here. I can park it there and it will just live there for the most part. This spot here that I have it set up in is very comfortable for me to keep it tucked away and out of my way. And you can see that the boom arm reaches to either one of my tables, no problem. You can see that on the arm, there are these locking knobs. You can turn them tight to completely lock the thing down. Or what I usually do is I just have it about a medium tension so that I can move it around the shop however I want. And like I said, when I get it located in an area that I'm happy with, I literally just let go of it and it does not move. Now, this thing hauls ass as far as how much air it can pull through it. On the website, this thing is listed as being able to pull about 600 CFM. And when you feel this thing hauling away, it pulls a ton of air through it. It's not terribly loud to be honest, which is kind of nice. Like I said, I usually have my headphones in. I hardly hear it when I have my tunes going. But one of the most common comments that I see in some of my videos, given the amount of air that this thing pulls through it while it's working, does this have any ill effects on my gas coverage while I'm welding? For example, when I have it parked a little bit close to like you see here, obviously this is a bit exaggerated, you will notice your gas coverage diminishing or being pulled away completely. I don't think it's really pulling the gas away so much as just causing air to run through what you have going on. It causes a lot of turbulence. But just for effect here, you can see this little experiment I have set up here. So what I'm doing here is I'm actually burning a little stick of incense just for demonstration. So you can see if I have it pulled really close to my welding area, the smoke is being pulled right into that thing. A little bit further away is much better. You can see the smoke being pulled in efficiently. 
This will kind of be the area that I will not see my gas being affected by this thing anymore. Even pulled a little bit further away, you can still see the smoke being drawn into it, no problem. Again, a demonstration with a stick of incense, you get the idea. Now, like I said, I've been using this thing for approximately six months, give or take now, and I've only just recently changed the filter on it. Actually doing some big projects, I've actually pulled the filter out and I've blown it out with air. As you can see, I'm using this sick leaf blower here. It works awesome. Doing this outside kind of helps to remove any of the heavy particulate that this thing is drawn in from like grinding or whatever. I fire this thing up and it actually helps me out a lot when I'm doing spray painting and stuff like that on one of my art pieces or whatever. But I am convinced that blowing this thing out every once in a while has made the filter last a little bit longer. Could be total bro science, I have no idea. You could buy the cartridges individually, you have them shipped right to your door, super convenient. And then like I said, it's just a matter of seconds, you have this switched out and a brand new one in there. Now in my like converted makeshift shop slash studio here, I have a ton of things running at all times when I'm making episodes for my YouTube channel. I have lights absolutely everywhere for filming. I have my welding machines, I have saws, I have sanders. In the wintertime, it is freezing in here, so I usually have heaters going at all times. So you can imagine that the subject of power is a very important important thing for me in my shop here. Now, one of the best things about this machine is it actually runs off of a 120 plug. You just plug it right into your wall. You can literally plug this entire unit into any wall socket in your garage, in your shop, wherever you have room for it. If I'm working on different projects in different areas of the shop, I literally just unplug the thing and I move it wherever I need to. Not having this thing restricted to a 240 plug is amazing. So combined with the convenience of power requirements and how much this thing can be moved around from a stationary spot in your shop, for a setup like I have here at my place, this is a perfect fit for my shop. I mean, honestly, if you hook this thing up to a sturdy, long extension cord or whatever, you could probably get away with moving this thing around as much as you need. It has got really heavy duty wheels built into it. You can roll it anywhere you need. You can lock it down, it will not move. I do notice that if you pull the arm out a little bit further sometimes, you can see that the unit does tip a little bit once it's locked down if you pull it out too far. But as long as I'm paying attention to this, it's not a problem. And you all know me, I'm always paying attention hit the link to their website below. This is absolutely one of the most important things as far as safety goes in my shop here. And now that I've experienced how awesome it is to have one of these units in my shop here now, I am never going back to working without one. If you out there love welding as much as I do, take care of yourself. I love this trade too much to ever risk having it taken away from me by some health problem or something like that. Spending money on something like this to keep myself safe and set up properly is a no brainer for me at this point. Eventually I am planning on getting a bit bigger of a shop. You can bet that I'm gonna have at least a couple of these units ripping away at all times, keeping myself and whoever else safe. Again, they have a ton of different options that you can check out on their website. They might have different things that would be a better fit for you in your shop or whatever setup you have. Do a random act of kindness for a stranger today. My name is Dusty, Phil and Chill. We will talk soon. Peace.